Welcome to lesson number 17. We're just going to play around with angles a little bit more here in GeoGebra. One of the things I wanted to talk about first was when we construct a right angle, I showed you how to use the measuring tool from before. Let's take a look at another example. Whether you use a line or a line segment, I'm going to use a line segment, you can construct a perpendicular. This is a word that's outlined in the notes. A perpendicular is um, a line or line segment going through a or intersecting another line or line segment at 90 degrees. So if I were to put a point anywhere on this uh, line segment, let's put it right there at C, I can construct a perpendicular. Down here under the construct tools, I have perpendicular line, I have perpendicular bisector. Now we're going to talk about bisector later. That means cut it in two equal parts. You can see that I did not place C in the middle, so I'm just going to choose perpendicular line. Okay, the instructions say select a point and perpendicular line. I'm going to choose C. I want it to go through C. I'm going to select the line segment. Notice it puts a line right through there. If you were to measure that angle, um, if you were to look at angle, you know, B, C, um, oh, I don't have a third point there. So let's try that again. If I were to put a point on this new line and then go back to measuring the angle. By the way, it's good to see my errors because then you know not what not to do. B, C, D, you can see that um, once I move that, it's labeled as 90 degrees. It also has the box or half box which is our marker for a 90 degree angle. So that's how you can construct a 90 degree angle. There's many other ways to construct other types of angles. Um, I just thought I would share this one as an extra.